Hello everyone, it's Abby Equestrian, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm just going to be playing Equestrian Craft and figured I'd film it, because I haven't played Equestrian Craft in a pretty long while. This is actually a new plot that I just built within the past few days. I had this parking lot done, I actually used it in another video, I just built it for the rescue horse video, and I thought I'd just delete this plot. But I ended up actually building a barn, so this is going to be a training barn, and I guess I'll give you guys a little tour of it. <laughs> so obviously here's the parking lot, there's a car that I can't get into, it's not very detailed, <laughs> that's okay. And then there's a trailer, it's just a one horse trailer, maybe it could be two horse, I'm not sure. I'm thinking though of building a bigger trailer like over here just to make it look a little better. I'm not sure. I just finished it today. So then when you come out of the parking lot area there's just a nice pathway and leaves. I also built some like of these mountain things. They took forever and you know they look okay. I'm not sure if they look the best but <laughs> that's fine. Over here I just have a field area. This barn is actually a training barn which just has horses that I'm training. So I made it more of a field than cross country because these horses are young. They're like two years old and you know I haven't even ridden them yet so I figured just to have a nice area to kind of trail ride around in would be nice. There's a little lake here. And you can see where there's openings where you can just ride through. But it's also accessible to eventually add cross-country jumps. So, yeah. Here's the barn. It looks pretty nice. I feel like all my barns look so similar because I always have... It's usually only one aisle way and then on both sides the roof is like... The roof is... I don't know how to explain it. When you come in, it's a barn. I mean, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I did put carpets on the ground just to seem like stall mats because this barn is going to have younger horses. So I thought it would be more realistic so they didn't like slip or trip or anything. And then here's a wash rack. And you can just bring a horse in here and then tie them to these fences. And then down here, each stall has its own tack box, which is pretty nice, just so they can- each horse can have their own bridle and blanket and everything. So the stalls are six blocks by six blocks. They have a glowstone lights, they're able to like look around, and they can also see other horses, which is nice, and they all have at least one window. Some of them have more, for example, like this one has a window out there and a window back there. I might add like some sort of window here, except there's an arena right outside, which I'll get to later. I also added some fences here so I could cross tie a horse here if needed or if someone else was at this barn and needed to tie a horse. Another thing that I did, which is really nice, and I like is in these stalls I actually added a fence above the water bucket so let's say if I give a horse a bath and they need to dry off or something they can air dry for a little bit and I can just tie them in their stall so yeah and then they can also drink water <laughs> so here is the tack room I made this little shelf design I don't know if I might change it. It doesn't look the best, but I kind of just did it to finish it. This just has a bunch of blankets. This one just has saddles. I have a dressage saddle, a bear pad, an English saddle, and then a jerking saddle and a western saddle. I don't know if I figured I was breaking horses in or starting horses, which might be easier to have some western saddles, just pull western saddles into. And then in this chest, I just have some polo wraps, a riding crop, and a lunge whip. Then here I just have some bridles. Here I just have some saddle pads, and then this chest is empty. Across from the tack room I have the feed room, 
So it kind of has that same like chest design. This just has an apple and hay bale head. This is where the actual food is. And then the cleaning stuff so I can do daily care. And then over here, it's just meant to kind of be like a place to prepare their food, which is why I put like a little hay block and apple, which are actually heads. And then there's a little shelf. And then over here, there's more storage rooms. <laughs> and here's just, it just has like these locker things. They're all empty. I don't have anything inside. I just made these, I guess, if I was going to have someone help train, they can just have a locker to themselves where they can put their own stuff. But I don't really have a use for this room for now. Over here, I just have a lounge area. Again, this is kind of just a thing to take up space, but it has a little couch. Two couches, actually. And then these shulker boxes, I just kind of made to be like cubbies. So I guess that's what I tried to do. It looks like a chess board. If you have any ideas, please comment down below. Over here, I have a few horses. So this is Sugar Plum. She was my second horse and she's immortal. This barn only has 12 stalls and I did that on purpose because I didn't want to put too many horses here. These four horses that you can see their names, they are out in this pasture back here. So when you come out across from here, there's some mountains and a pasture. These horses are all two years old and two months at the moment. So I'm kind, I just kind of moved them here and I'm getting them started with lunging and stuff, but I'm not going to ride them for a little while. This pasture is the only pasture on this plot, but it's really cool. So it has fencing on one side and then the other side is just this mountain thing, which I just thought that was kind of cool. Then when you come out from the pasture, over here is a round pen. It's not too small, but it's also not too big. So, you know, you won't feel like it's too much room when you're just starting a horse. If you come behind the barn, this is a nice arena. It's long, but it's not super wide. It's very long. But um, I just have this here for now. I might put like some poles in it later. It does not actually have a fence. It just has some bushes because I kind of like the way it looks with the bushes. The last thing on this plot is the indoor arena. So you can come out from that front of the barn and then just walk right over here. It's smaller than the outdoor arena, but it's definitely very nice. The roof is high enough that you're not going to hit your head on it while riding. And yeah, I just set up some poles. I just set these up for the horse sugar plum that I mentioned earlier because obviously I'm not riding the younger ones just yet. So yeah, that's mostly it for this plot. I'll show you guys one of my other plots. So this plot I showed in one video, I think. This is like a club plot. So I made a club called SSD Stables, meant for Star Song Dash Stables. Here, when you first come in, there's just this gravel parking lot, and this trailer is like a semi-truck. It can hold eight horses. They kind of come in here, and then you can cross-tie them. And then here's just another little area for the horses. Here's like an attack area, which I think is very nice because it just has some chests and shelves up there. It's really nice. In the front I have a little feed area, so there are some chests and then some hay. So this would be a nice trailer to use if you're going to travel far. Then I also have this tiny little thing. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a one horse or a two horse. Could probably squeeze two horses, but I've only used one. And then across from there, there's just this tiny arena that I never use. I could probably just turn horses out in here, but it's honestly kind of small. This barn is like a show barn, I guess. 
a few people have horses here from the club over there and then I have four horses in this barn so this is Goldie this is melon this is pepper and then this is firecracker and then there's these little paddocks on the side and wash racks I'm not gonna go in here because it's just like a house area I'm still working on but it also has like rooms with just tables and chairs and stuff I'm not really sure here's the tack room I just have some stuff in those chests and then yeah I just have a lot of random stuff here's the tack and food of course then these stalls are like outside stalls I guess I put sand here in the aisleways just so you could ride your horse through here so if you potentially did want to you can so the footings nice I just have six horses out here these are like lesson horses technically I own them and I've never really given lessons on them but they're mostly just horses that I don't want to get rid of but I also would be okay with leasing them out if that makes sense. And there are um, fences that you can use to cross tie across here, which is pretty nice. So there's a row here and then a row here, which is very nice to have. And then you can also cross tie a horse out here because there's a fence under this fence, so you can just tie your horse. There's another storage room just has chests. Out here is a very small outdoor arena. It's just kind of nice. <laughs> it has small poles set up. Since it's so tiny, you're always turning. <laughs> Over here are a few more pastures. They all have little sheds so the horses can go under and just chill. And then over here is a cross-country course. Just has some cross country jumps, nothing too special. So, this cross country course is nice to have. It's not super big, but I figured that if we needed something bigger, we could just go to one of the public cross country courses. I purposely made the parking lot by the arenas so if I hosted an event or something, people could just easily come over. So, if you just come in here, there's some bleachers so you can sit and watch in this arena. And you can go straight from the parking lot over to the arena. Here's like a little standing area and you can tie your horse while watching other people. And there's another pastor, by the way. <laughs> and then down here, this is an arena design I haven't really seen before. So it's like underground, but then there's glass so people can see. It's well lit and it's pretty nice to have. There are just some little trot poles to go over and then some other jumps and then poles. If you come out, there is this lovely covered arena. The gate is so far away, I feel like I should move it over there because it's annoying having to walk all the way over here. Honestly, most of the time I just jump the fence. So I took down the other course I had. I had an actual course set up. Now this is just a bunch of random jumps thrown into the arena. But you can see it's definitely a good size and you're able to fit a lot of jumps. If you have a very nice jumping horse, you'll still hit the roof, but you need to learn self-control then. <laughs> then across from it, I have a gelding pasture. The water froze. Oops. So yeah, and here it's a big pasture. They have a nice little shed. So these four geldings actually all live out in this pasture. So there's this horse. There's one that always runs back here. Oh, here. This horse is called like Razzle Dazzle. And then there's these two horses. This horse here is actually a rescue horse. He's only two years old. But I gelded him and he's coming along really well. And then one of my favorite things about this barn is the track. So you wouldn't really think it has a track, but it actually does. It's not necessarily for racing, but you can use it for racing if you want. I usually just use it to trot or canter around. 
it has sand footing, so it's nice for the horses. And then you, it starts over by these arenas, and you can just come... And then when you come over here, it doesn't loop all the way around. You have to make a circle and go back the other way. But here it's almost just like a round pen. But that's mostly everything on this plot. Thank you guys for watching this video. I was kind of just flying around two of my newer plots that you guys haven't seen. I'm going to try to make more EquestriCraft videos because I haven't been making that many. But I hope you have a great day or night, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye! This barn is going to have long- or not, not longer horses, what am I saying? <laughs> this whole- oh my gosh.